how should you diagnose problems with your ECU? Since visible problems can be associated with a faulty engine control unit, it could also be the result of other issues, and we've put together a list of ways you can diagnose your ECU and determine whether it is the root cause or not. First, you'll want to do a visual inspection. You have to inspect the pins and make sure that they are all upright and intact. If they are, then next you should move on to a smell test. This just entails a simple whiff by the unit's plug that will let you know whether the unit has something wrong with it. If you get a distinct odor of burnt plastic, then you know you have a problem and you'll want to further inspect the board by opening up the unit. If you notice any burnt or corroded components inside the unit, then the engine computer will have to be replaced. A further step you can take with older vehicles to diagnose and troubleshoot the ECM is by performing a swap. This process works by finding a replacement unit matching your exact original part number and then swapping your existing unit out for a replacement. If your vehicle can communicate and function properly with a replacement module, then that's a sign that it's your existing module that is causing your vehicle's problems. The next thing you can do is diagnose your ECU is use a scanner. The way you do this is by hooking up a scanning device to your computer module's OBD2 port. Once hooked up, you will be able to see if there are any engine codes coming from the engine computer. You can then interpret those engine diagnostic codes to determine whether the root of the problem is the engine control unit. If you want a full list of codes, subscribe to this channel as we update content regularly with that or visit carcomputerexchange.com for more.